Robert Kok Hock Nien, is an influential Malaysian Chinese businessman. According to Forbes his net worth is estimated to be around $14.7 billion on February 2012 making him the richest person in Malaysia and second richest in Southeast Asia after Dan in Chiravan owned of Thailand, according to Forbes' list of world billionaires 2013 which Robert Koch was placed 76th. As of December 2012, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, Koch has an estimated net worth of $17.3 billion making him the 40th richest person in the world. Koch is media shy. Most of his businesses are privately held by him or his family. Apart from a multitude of businesses in Malaysia, his companies have investments in many countries throughout Asia. His business interests range from sugar cane plantations, sugar refineries, flour milling, animal feed, oil, mining, finance, hotels, properties, trading, freight and publishing. Biggest source of wealth is stake in Wilmer International the world's largest listed palm oil company. He was a student from Raffles Institution and English College Johor Bahru English Collegian. Family, Robert Koch's son, Koch Kunin born in 1955 married Koch Cheng Sui and holds Bachelor of Arts degree in Economics from University of Nottingham, England. His other son, Koch Kun Ho is the chairman of the Koch brothers, born in 1951 and holds Bachelor of Commerce degree, from McGill University, Canada. Robert Koch's brother, Tan Sri Dato Philip Koch Hockey, a Malaysian ambassador to Bonn, Federal Republic of Germany, Yugoslavia, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Denmark, was born on May 18, 1921, and attended with Robert Koch to English College Johor Bahru before going to the College of Agriculture, Sedang, and later to the University of Malaya with a degree in economics. Tan Sri Philip married Eileen Koch and had two sons and two daughters. He died on December 16, 2003, and was awarded with Netherlands Award of the Grand Cross of the Order of Orange Nassau, and decorated with Dato Sri Padu Kota Jaya, Dato Padu Kota Jaya, and Pang Lima Sesha Makhkota. Koch has married twice and has eight children. His fourth eldest son, which he passed on to be the holder of Changri La Hotels, Jeffrey on Tengbi, married twice. He has three sons and a daughter. They are Justin Chu Jiao Wei, Brian Chu Jia Jun, John Chu Jia Sheng, and Alyssa On Lai Yang. Koch officially retired from the Kerry Group on April 1, 1993. One of his sons, Koch Kunin, now handles most of the day to day operations of his businesses. He currently resides in Hong Kong. Biography Robert Koch has been the richest man in Southeast Asia since 2002. He is in the sugar business. Koch's father arrived in Malaya from Fujian, China, at the beginning of the 20th century, and Robert was the youngest of three brothers, born on October 6, 1923, in Jabaru. He grew up speaking his parents' Chinese Fso dialect, English and Japanese during Japan's wartime occupation of Malaya. He claims he began in business as an office boy, and later started a business with relative support. Upon graduation, he worked as a clerk in the rice trading department of Japanese industrial conglomerate Mitsubishi Shoji Kesha between 1942 and 1945, in Singapore, a conglomerate which with the help of Japanese military unit monopolized the rice trade in Malaya during the occupation period. He was soon promoted to head of the rice trading department. After the war, he took the skills he learned from the Japanese back to the family's business in Jha. Koch Sr. died in 1948, and Koch and his two brothers and a cousin Koch Hock Chien founded, Koch Brothers SDNBHD in 1949, trading agricultural commodities. Koch relationship with the Japanese continued after Malaya gained independence. In 1959, Koch formed Malayan Sugar Manufacturing Company, BHD, together with two prominent Japanese partners. He also brought many influential Malay elite into his company as directors and shareholders which include UMNO politician and Malay royalty. Koch was granted a monopoly of sugar production in Malaysia. In 1961, he made a coup by buying cheap sugar from India before the prices shot up. He continued to invest heavily in sugar refineries, 
controlled 80% of the Malaysian sugar market with production of 1.5 million tons, equivalent to 10% of world production, and so earned his nickname Sugar King of Asia. In 1971, he built the first Shangri-La Hotel, in Singapore. His first foray into Hong Kong property was in 1977, when he acquired a plot of land on the newly reclaimed Tsim Sha Tsui East waterfront, where he built the second hotel, the Kowloon Shangri-La. In 1993, his Kerry Group acquired a 34.9% stake in the South China Morning Post from Murdoch's News Corporation. His companies have investments in many countries, including Singapore, the Philippines, Thailand, mainland China, Indonesia, Fiji and Australia. Businesses in China include 10 bottling companies for Coca-Cola, and ownership of the Beijing World Trade Center. Freight interests include Malaysian bulk carriers Bahad and Transmile Group. His political influences are tested by his having been selected as one of the Hong Kong Affairs Advisors in the run-up to the transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong, and his minority stake in CITIC Pacific. He was also instrumental in conveying information and setting up the meetings between Malaysia and China governments leading to full diplomatic cross-recognition of the two countries. On October 31, 2009, PPB Group under the flagship of Robert Koch issued a statement to the Bursa Malaysia that it had decided to dispose of its sugar units along with land used to cultivate sugarcane for a mo on 29 billion to FELDA. The sales resulted in a one-off gain for the company. The sugar unit and sugar cane plantation were the second largest business segment upon its grain and feed which were topping the sales. In February 2014, Cox Singapore-based oil services company PACC Offshore Services Holdings started pre-IPO talks with investors to list on the Singapore Stock Exchange to raise $400 million. References <laughs>